Hello again, and welcome back to Medieval 2. So, we last left off that we once again summoned from the dead several centuries ago. Now we're in London, because somebody managed to have the hands on Serok's spell book, summoning the dead and all that. And now we're here at the professor's laboratory by Winston. And also we just got ourselves the weapon, which is a cane that's, I guess it's pretty cool. But enough said, let's just go on to our mission. We've already talked to the professor right there. So we're going to go check the map. This is a pretty different hub instead of the map. Speaking of which, yeah, it's sort of the hideout and all that. All right, let's see what the um, Kingston location, mission, reference, whatever, is about. From what I can work out, this is the epicenter of the blast. Look around, Fortescue. Connect as much magic as possible and see if you can work out who's behind this terrible state of affairs. I'll be more than happy to. But before I do that, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And press that notification bell if you want to be notified. Not to mention my goal is to reach 100 subscribers. So with that out of the way, thank all that, let's begin. Alright, we're here in Kingston. And from the looks of this area, this seems pretty quiet. I really don't like the invert controls in this because it's hard to navigate. But enough said. Let me just try switching this. Let's see what's going on here. Now we have ourselves a new enemy. The Necromancer. So these characters this necromancer character here he'll keep summoning all the zombies and all so we can't be killed unless all of it unless all of the zombies are dead so we can stop being invisible because he's impossible to kill all right let's see There you go. And it's pretty simple actually. Let's see. And I have to find a key for the house. This house thing. Pretty hard to get, hit him, you know. There we go. All right, so looks like I also need a key in this part. And I find the cane more powerful than the sword. Let's just go see what's over in this part. Alright, more of these oi. Huh, that's weird. What was it? Oh yeah, that's right, never mind. I was gonna say that. There was a glitch, but I keep forgetting that he's still around. Let's try this again. All 
Alright, that's pretty simple to deal with, once you know how. Let's just see what's over here. There's Winston, so let's see what he has to say about. Certain objects could be pushed or pulled. Stand close and hold action to lock on. Use the directional buttons to move it about. Okay. So let's see. All right, that's how you do it. Yeah, so sorry for not being energetic or or whatever, because I'm feeling lightheaded and drowsy. So I'm going to be talking a bit too soft. And that I'm... Yeah, I just can't seem to focus. There we go. Let's see where we can go. And by need a few more. to get that chalice. There we go. Now let's see what we got. There we go. Seems clear. And we got ourselves a new enemy. These dog things. This is becoming a real pain. Hold up. Okay, so... Let me just take care of these guys. Alright, that's done. 
kind of whisper my way through these guys. Let me just move this out of the way and put it over here. And into that ramp thing. Cart. I could just skip doing these, killing these guys, so I can make things faster. But that wouldn't be natural, having zombies running around in London. Alright, now that we got the key, let's go check inside that house. This must be the same house that's close to the museum. That that one guy just came in. All right, let's see what he has to say. You made it. This is where the spell was cast. Look around for clues and then head over to the museum. Something seems to be going on over there. I'm beginning to f dislike your accent, Winston. And based on the disappearance of this room, I say this person seems to be also members of the occult. And there's more crates I can just break through, so... I found a pocket watch. I don't know what that's for, but we're gonna have to find out real soon all right so let's get find our chalice and head back to the museum ah there it is Okay, let me ring this bell. And here comes the choo-choo. And it looks like the same train from Xerox Palace. We got ourselves the chalice. Now let's head back to the museum. Let me see if I have, have enough. Okay, I do. Let's see what's going on in the rooftop. Once through this door, there's no going back, Dane. So you probably want to make sure that you got the chalice. I already have. Don't worry about it. Yes, it's a pity we cannot yet enter the tomb. We will return. Nice rocket. I always find that rocket real awesome looking. Okay, so looks like we found out one of these characters are up to something, must be involved with something involving this thing. Enough said, let's go back into the mansion down here. 
All right, we're back into the mansion. I mean... All right, Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. I meant museum. Oh, boy. So we're back at the museum, what I'm trying to say. So basically, we're going to have to go into the tomb for some reason. And I do hope we don't mess this up without falling off in this flower pit. And it's the same area that we didn't have a chance to get over. Try nice and easy. And we made it. Nice. We already have what we need. So let's go down and see what else is... Oh great. These guys again. Now I'm gonna have to kill four of these guys. I don't know what those are called, but... They're based off of Egypt's... Creatures or whatever. I don't think they can reach me from there. And they sound more like dog I mean, not dogs, but lions. Even though they are dogs. Almost getting beat up. That's one. That's two. Almost there. One more to go, and I'm done with these guys. And I'm already wasting my thing. Alright, we're done. So now what? I couldn't swore that I heard more of those life bar. I guess not. And of course this is closed off so I can't go back any further. So let's just check inside this tomb. And what's going on? Oh good, I found some life bar thing. Life fountain. Ah, thank you. Let's see. Oh, great. Oh, looks like I can light them on fire. Looks like this is just a one-hit kill for these guys. Actually, I could just wait it out until they die. Nice. It's much easier than to use a sword and whatever. 
Let's see. I'm gonna have to find a torch to light it up. Let me go back. I don't see it. Ah, okay, there it is. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to light some more torches so I can unlock something. Scroll of Skill Mint. Does that pronounce it right? I'm just gonna. Okay, there's something else over there, so let me move this here. And there. Just wait it out. Simple. <sighs> this kind of reminds me a lot like The Mummy. Not that bad reboot with um, Tom Cruise, but the one with Brendan Fraser and all that. Okay, Tomb of Horus or something. I'm gonna have to move something else out of the way because this seems to be something in there. Or not. Just check anyway. Chalice. All right. All right, so now where am I? Okay. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to use one of these items that I found. A scroll of something. No. Pocket watch? I don't know. It's been a while since I played... Okay, there we go. Tomb of Horus. That's one. Okay, the scroll of Skelment. I'm butchering that name, I don't know. And something else, I don't know. It's been a while again. Again, it's been a while since I played this. Okay, so it looks like I'm missing an item. I'm gonna have to go back and find it. Wherever it is. Something over there. Let me try moving this. Uh. All right. Uh. 
All right, that takes care of him. All right, hopefully there's something over there. I was right, there is. Staff of Ambibus. A Anubis, Beast, whatever. And that takes care of them. I'm gonna have to go back in and refill my health now. Wait a minute. These hands. I keep seeing those things everywhere. Maybe there's some trick in this. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I remember because based on that that thing over there, the um, title screen. Dan has the ability to take his head off and place it in those little hands so you can ride on it and get through this thing. But I don't think that's possible, at least not right now. Well, let's just go and do what we have to do. And use the last item, whatever that is. Ah, this way. Staff of Amobus, Anubis, or something like that. I'm also butchering that title again. A pretty mummy girl. Okay, so we're back, and we are introduced with a new character. And I believe that could be a love interest that I'm thinking, hinting. Enough said, let's go see the professor again. Fortescue, you made it! Excellent! The energy you've collected has given us power of a sort. And that's not all you've brought back, I see. I don't normally approve of any old way for stray, but when they're as pretty as this one, I think we could make exceptions. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, well, tell me, did you find anything useful on your journey? Mm. A what? Charades? Uh, uh, a snake? A dog? And a rocket? I know, it's not fancy. Interesting. I'll analyze this and see if I can't debrief our friend over here. So, Dad, go and get some more zombie juice for my machines. Yeah, you pervert. All right, let's use our chalice to see what else we got. Try the hammer of Thor. You're sure to have a smashing time. Oh, good one, pervert. So, just like in the other, the last game. You have the Hammer of Thor again. Yeah, so... Looks like I'm gonna have to stop here, the video. Sorry for not being energetic and talk more. But I'll try better next time. But for now, thank you for watching my video. So I hope you enjoy it. And like I said, be sure to like, comment down below, subscribe, and press the notification bell. So until then, I will see you again in the next video.